In this video, we will discuss the interactive composite beam design, which is a feature that allows you to review the design results for any composite beam, select the best design from the various acceptable designs, and interactively change the design assumptions and immediately view the results. To access the composite beam design, first, you must make sure the analysis has been run. If we go to the Analyze Run Analysis tool, this will run the analysis and after that is completed, you must take one more step, go to Design, Composite Beam Design, and select Start Design Check of Structure. You will see that the selected beam and the number of shear studs is being shown on the screen. If you right click on one of these beams, you can see the interactive composite beam design and review form pops up. We can use the left side of the form to control the beam design. Now here is a list of acceptable designs. When a beam is assigned to an auto select list, the acceptable designs list shows the various designs generated for all the sections in the auto select list. When a beam is assigned a specific section instead, the list is limited to one design generated for that section. So every one of these beams shown here has been included in this A comp beam auto select list. The design consists of a section, shear stud distribution, camber, and a number of design checks that all must be satisfied for the design to be acceptable. The controlling ratio is displayed in this area, which is the largest of the design ratios evaluated. When a design is selected from the list, the details of the design checks are shown on the right side of the form. You can see the strength checks and the serviceability checks. Deflection, vibration, shear, positive and negative moment design checks are performed for all the considered design load combinations. So you may wonder, why is there no design shown for every single given section? When the show all alternates toggle lets you view all the design generated for the beams, even those that weren't acceptable. So when you show all alternates, the acceptable designs area is renamed alternate designs and designs that aren't acceptable show up in red as you can see. So let's go through some of these items. You can see the percent comp pull down control lists, the available percentages of composite action for the currently designed section. As you select the different percentages of composite action, the total number of shear studs the design trolling ratio and the design checks on the right are updated. The percentage of composite action you select only applies to the currently selected design. When the selected beam is a girder supporting other beams, the uniform shear studs allows you to choose whether shear studs should be listed uniformly distributed or as a breakdown across the segments of the girder defining the beam framing in. If we take a look at the camber clicker, this allows the camber to be increased or decreased for the currently selected design. The increment is the camber increment set in the composite design preferences form. Again, the camber specified this way only applies to the selected design. Now let's take a look at the right side of the form. The strength check displays three columns of numbers. These items cannot be edited. They display information on the beam and the selected design or allow access to more detailed information. The first column lists the factored values of the shear, positive moment, and negative moment. The third column lists the ratios of the numbers of the first two columns. These ratio all need to be less than one. The stress check yielding the highest ratio is highlighted in bold, as you can see here in the second. If the design is not acceptable due to one or more stress checks, those checks are shown in red, which is not the case for this specific beam. The constructability and serviceability checks likewise display the details of several types of checks. Shear stud crowding check, the deflection checks for various load conditions, one or more vibration checks, if a vibration criteria has been specified. Lastly, you have the option to show details to take a look at specific diaphragms associated with the selected beam or you can take a look at a report for each specific beam with detailed information, including composite deck properties, governing load combination and reactions, and all the strength check, constructability, and serviceability check values.